My mug says it all. Well, welcome to Saturday morning. I'm Tracy. It's my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I am up two hours later than I wanted to be. I'm like, who comes up with these rules, huh? I actually was social last night with some people. We all worked together once upon a time. It was so much fun. Except we went to Uncle Julio's and we were supposed to eat outside, but it was too cold. So they closed it <coughs> because it was so loud. I said, next time, let's go to a grown-up restaurant where it's quiet. Wow, it was crazy. The acoustics in that place. But the food was good. And I ended up getting a... um. Well, we ate chips until we ate chips and we ate chips. And then we got one of the homemade guacamole at the table. God, that stuff is good. Why don't I make guacamole for myself all the time? I ha you get, can get frozen avocado cut up, which is so good. Cut up a few, uh, cut up a tomato, cut up a, yeah, it just, I could cut up tomatoes, onions, get my, my cilantro ready, I get my garlic ready, get the lime cut up, and then just make a little batch every day. Oh my God. It was so good. I could just eat. I just swear to you next time I'm just going to order that and eat that. But I end, I end up just drinking water. And then I had, um, I thought, you know what? It's, let's just get something. We want the steak. Yes, I love that steak. So let's just got, so I got like a bowl, a, like a steak fajita bowl. It was basically beans and corn and tomatoes and onions and there's something else in there with a little cojata cheese or something and then my meat and then I had a little bit of um of course I put some salsa on it a little bit of sour cream it was perfect and because it <coughs> excuse me it wasn't lettuce it's not going to be all yucky today all that stuff is hearty so it's going to taste good today so um yeah, I feel good about that. I love their fajitas, y'all. I do. Uh, I love coffee in the morning. So what's happening, y'all? It's a gray, ugly day, but that's okay. I got friends coming, so I'm too social twice in a row. I am really, one, because my brain is so much better. And it is spring, and I am working on um, connecting more to people. You know, I connect all day, every day, but there's people I haven't seen in a while, and I want to see them, right? So I'm really working on that. <clears throat> and um, so that feels good. But I wanted to show something to you. So what am I doing, y'all? My crew's picking me up at 1.30. So we're going to head to Target, and we're going to try something there. And I want to grab like a couple of things of paint from there. Um, I saw somebody on YouTube, well, it's Jana Clenard, something or other. I'm so bad at three names, but Jana Clenard Harris, I think. Anyway, she's lovely. I was on the table looking, like, what kind of paint is she using? Because I like it. And I zeroed in, and the title of the, or the name of the paint was Caterpillar. So that's pretty unique. And um, after sleuthing, it's from Target. It's like under $2. And I could grab a thing of kitty litter if they have the right kind. So we're going to start there. And I have to decide, should we just get everything, film us in the store, and then come here and taste test it? Or should we taste test it in the car? <clears throat> so we'll figure that out. It's easier probably camera-wise to taste test it here. But um, <coughs> we'll see where we're in the moment. So we're going to hit the target. Then we're going to... You know, that'll be the next thing. What kind of food can you get in, like, stores? We're just going to try food, y'all. But we're going to head to the Wawa. And then we're heading down to the Dash Inn. Then we're heading over to Royal Farms. So, we are going to hit all the gas stations. I'm going to do some recon at work and figure out all the different ones. And we're going to try it. So, what I want to do, too, is we're going to order hot food and then find some kind of snack. Y'all, look at my cute, look at y'all, this is, look at my little, little rainbow. I thought it was a pen. 
So somehow I got to get Beverly, but it's tiny little. I've got to get Beverly to... Actually, I could probably take this off and then sew a pin on it so I can have a little pin. But yeah, so... um. <coughs> Woof. That's the plan, Stan. I'm excited. So, um, and then my goal today is, well, I don't think I'll be in the garage, y'all. We'll see. I don't know how, if it's going to warm up, but, um, yeah. And obviously I'm going to work on my kitchen because we're going to need space, y'all. Let me show you my table. No shame here, y'all. No shame. Look at all this wonderfulness. But I got stuff to put away. I, you know, I really am um, hearing people talk about they have smaller amount of supplies when they're creating and it gives them more freedom and they have to be more imaginative. <coughs> it's a different process. Y'all, I need some Waterloo. I have not had really a seltzer water all week. So that, I'm excited about that. And of course, with my ADHD brain, that's challenging. So I'm going to work on that today and then have my stuff, you know, been really good about labeling and stuff like that. Get that put away and then think about, okay, am I going to watercolor? Well, you know, but I want to have a little set things. Like I want to keep, <clears throat> you know, a set of watercolors. So when I feel like, I love, I actually love this now. To do that, I have like a little set of watercolors or, you know, just the basics. And then if I'm collaging, am I using acrylic? Um, and I'm going to have a set of, um, so Beverly gave me these for Easter. Look at my cute little Trader Joe's thing. Not Trader Joe's. Walmart. No. Dollar Tree. Look at those, you guys. These are Stabilo. And <clears throat> they're water soluble until they dry. So let's, um... So, I have no water here, y'all, because I cleaned up all my water things yesterday. So, they have a little bit. You can get them a little wet. But once they dry, oh, I got to, um, <clears throat> once they dry, I have to, I would, I'm going to, um, <clears throat> the, you, then they're sort of permanent, um. But I, let's see what the colors. I got to swatch them. But look at this. Do they have, I love when people name colors, y'all. I could do that. Could be my job. So they're Woody Stabilo three and one. Let's see. Oh, you can't really see on that one. Let me find one. Oh, here we go. That's a good one. So we have brown. We have yellow. I love yellow right now, y'all. <clears throat> I actually have a yellow thing of colors. So this is black. And I keep my box with the black. Look at that lovely color, like a salmon, so pink, orange, creamsicle, got a pretty blue. <clears throat> we got a light blue. I love this green. Look at that green. And they came with like a dusting on them, but anyway, and we got red. We got red. So these are the basics. Let me put this green. <clears throat> pretty. Love the green. So yeah, so I'm gonna play with those, and um, but I'm trying to. I've got so many great ideas going. So how do I focus it down? Um, I don't. But I um, on my wanderlust I have. So what I was trying to do, like making papers. <coughs> so tomorrow we're gonna jelly print. Today I'm gonna probably do some mark making tonight, but. Um, so I have a couple different classes going that involve making your own collage pages. So I'm going to settle down. I'm going to try to, um, there's at least three. I'm going to complete those projects. That's the goal. <clears throat> and then, gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> gosh. Yo, I got to get to still water. That's why I need to get a target so I can do my neti pot thing. So that's kind of my thinking. It's so nice to have all these choices. And then I want to finish up on, I'm still working on my son. I want to try, um, you know, I'm just building up like texture. 
But I think she's going to be done soon. Because you can kind of see. Because you know the sun is gaseous, right? So I wanted it to look like not a solid. So I think I did a good job on that. <clears throat> but then we're working on... So these I'm going to jelly plate over. Because you can jelly plate right in your book. <clears throat> and I was going to do something with these two. And then I want to do some more of my mermaid. And finish my mermaid. Where's my mermaid, y'all? Hmm. There she is. No, that's not the mermaid. There she is. So, what am I going to do? <clears throat> I want to... I've got... Um, I want to... And you can't see it, but I've drawn in some kind of seaweed. So, I want some seaweed going on around her here. And then... um. I want to build this up first a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit more textured. You can kind of see. Do my seaweed on that. And then I'm going to come up with a quote. And then she'll be done. And um, there's things I love about her. Things I don't. And that's fine. You learn. You're playing. <clears throat> then I want to fill up every sketchbook I have, you guys. Just fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. Look at that. Just randomly putting watercolor down. And then taking a gold pen and just randomly making marks. The joy, y'all, the joy. So yeah, so that is going on in this book, right? And this is Diane, or it's Ranger. Dina or Diane, one of those. Um, and I actually kind of like it. What's nice, it has this right here. So it can open up flatter when you're working and then you have your little pocket here. And then I have a big one so I'm trying to focus down like, okay, so some of the projects I'm gonna do require being separated, right? Well, they do them on like different substrates, but I thought you can still do yours in a book, right? And then if you wanna go forward, you can find your substrate, which is just basically what you work on, right? <clears throat> book covers, y'all, we're gonna have a book cover series. Um, pieces of wood, whatever, right? We're gonna be really imaginative. But this one is the same book, but bigger. Right? And you can paint on the covers. And I've had this one forever. It says take it slow. But it's the papers are really smooth. They do really good with watercolor. And this is a collage from a book about different shades of blue making water in the sky. So that was from ages ago. Here's my muse, y'all. One of my muses, my girl Frida. So I'd like to try and paint that. So part of um Learning is you copy and for copy people, but it's almost impossible unless you can do right, unless you um are master at forgery. So you you just can't copy. It ends up being something. And then this one is a mixed media book. So this is gonna be for smaller projects. And then I have my bigger book I'm just dedicating to Wanderlust. And then I have a watercolor book I'm dedicating to just watercolor stuff that I'm working on not a playbook but like I want to you know go do and mess around and then come there and and keep working <clears throat> so that's kind of where my headspace is but I wanted to share a cool book the, the decorative the classic vintage label for your design my whole life seemed to start and end with you meaning me myself nobody else it's not beautiful to me and it's a journal right <clears throat> And look at the end pages but i put some of my stickers and stamps because sometimes this is becomes an art thing itself right just doing that but these little girl stickers but you for me having adhd i forget what i have right i mean people in general do that but some people don't they can remember everything so what i thought is i found i have three different containers just of stamps <coughs> postage stamps Y'all, hey, you know what? Let me figure this out. I ordered something, so it clamps to my table, and I, yeah, that should work. And um, and then it has a gooseneck thing, so I can put my camera right on top, y'all. So bear with me. Hold on. Oh my. Today I cannot get the camera to face it. It goes like this. So y'all, bear with me. But um, we're going to work on that. But anyway, this is a bunch of like um, <clears throat> different stamps. 
So I'm going to go through and um, I also save um, like just places. And this is my mom found at a thrift store once for me a whole bunch. And I ordered some online once. So what I'm going to go through is I have kind of loosely done it. <clears throat> like I try to pull people out of fauna, flora kind of thing. Um, and look at this. Yumminess. I could sit here for hours. I'm not even joking, you know. Um, let me see. But these are more people. Lots of the queen, y'all. Oh, gosh, y'all, that Kate Middleton. I, and why do we still call her Kate Wales? Is that her name? Kate. Mm, I got so upset. I saw that at lunch. But she's sick and she's so thin and seems so fragile. And she's always seemed so strong and athletic. And, you know, she's been through the ringer. <clears throat> anyway, it hurt my heart. We're going to concentrate on good. So, that is what I'm going to do. And I have another whole big one. But I thought, let's, let's not overwhelm ourselves. <clears throat> so, what I'll do is I'll empty this. And look at this. I love little tin cans. And this is, I love this side cigar box. Fancy. I probably paid $2 for this. It's probably $25 online. So, in some ways, it's good. I got a bunch of stuff back in the day. So, I'm going to just play around and pick some out. To put down, I just do a light glue stick. They come off fine. And then um, do some stickers and stuff so then I can look through here and be inspired. But these little girl stickers, y'all, they just, they're so cute. So that's something to do. And that's something I can do, you know, when um, <clears throat> I don't necessarily want to get paint or anything out. And I feel like being, it's part of creativity, right? Prepping, prepping. So that's kind of what's happening. We are going to get together five boxes for the vets for Tuesday. And um, what I want to do is, so right now when you walk in my foyer, all this stuff there for actually doing that, right? So what I want to do is, now the cat, there's a bathroom, right? For, called the cat bathroom because the cat litter box. But I pretty much only have it up in my bathroom now. It's just so much easier for me. It's full of stuff. It's full of empties, right? So empty boxes, storage stuff, stuff like that. So I've taken a lot out, but what I want to do is put all my empties I have right now. I have a lot. And all my packing stuff, put it in one bag. So when I'm done, I can put it in there and have that hallway clear because it's a good feng shui of it all, right? So that's one of my goals. And then um, five boxes full. We may go through this cupboard up here quickly, right? all kinds of stuff up there so i'm not gonna go through well i don't know maybe i will go through plates and stuff i want to look at y'all see and then i turn it off <clears throat> but i want my kitchen everything off the floor i want um my i'm gonna my keep my tree get that I, I love that tree i keep the topper seltzer the middle is clear stuff and then the it's open for her to sit on so, and I have all my bill stuff and all that. I want to contain an area and start going through that and figure out how am I going to do this to keep this more neutral. And um, I have a new mop to try, y'all. I never tried. My sewing machine, I brought all that down for now. My sewing machine is going to be set up in my library. I used to have my computer there and make music and all that, have fun, make tapes and stuff. But um, it's going to be my sewing machine. And I'm going to make a date with um, my friend Sandy and her family with Cleo. They're going to London for spring break. So let her get back, get settled, and then see if I can, on one of my Saturdays off, which Sandy works, go hang out and do some sewing. I still have more. I have like rags and stuff in the garage, but I think what I really want to do is take anything that's rags, clothing that I want to cut up, <clears throat> that kind of thing, and start with that upstairs, start our project on that. So there's a lot going on. And then I also going to do some tax prep tomorrow, which means make sure I can get into Herbo tax, get my last year's tax thingy out, get all the papers, gather all that up. And then the next step will be just to start the process because I can do this as many steps because it remembers. 
and at least maybe get the process going. And usually sometimes when you start doing that, it's just lickety split because mine are not complicated. So my friends are like, you should itemize everything. <sighs> Cause I have, I've given away a lot. Um, it's a lot of work for someone with ADHD. And honestly, I could just sit down and go through my videos or say, hey, if I get audited, say, hey, Iris, watch my video. <laughs> Um, but that's what I'm thinking. And I am down to, I was very proud of myself. I came home. I put all my laundry away. It's the little things you need to be proud of y'all. I was so proud of myself cause I didn't want to, but we did it, me and Clara. And then today, um, we're going to start on the sweaters. I'm going to just take them all downstairs. And then <clears throat> I am, you know, pretty much caught up with all that mounds of laundry. Of course I, I've already been keeping up with what I've been wearing and my jeans. I've already done a couple more laundries like that, but I will be basically caught up and that makes me feel good. And we're going to go through some more clothes and um, like, you know, I'm not going to wear super heavy stuff now, but I am doing a little thing where I film what I'm wearing. It's under 30 seconds, under, under a minute for sure. Just like, do you think I should keep it or not? And it's interesting. People have such different views, but my um, pink champagne on ice, what I'm going to do, it's a little big, but I love it. And I'm going to have so Chloe, Cleo, teach me to take it tapered in a little bit with my sewing machine. I mean, that's an easy thing. Just tapered in a little bit at the bottom so it's not so big. So, because I love that top. <clears throat> so, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start trying my different jewelry, too, and start going through jewelry. And I have a whole thing on my playlist of going through my jewelry box. So much fun. I mean, I've been collecting jewelry since I was a kid. My mom, my grandma gave me fun jewelry. My grandma loved to accessorize. Like she had my Alma. She had a beautiful brooch on or a nice necklace, earrings, and she had a nice bag. My girl liked to accessorize. So there was, there's pictures of me as a kid holding my, one time I'm not, I have to find that picture. I'm holding three bags or at least two. Like I have one that's strapped around my body and I'm holding another bag. I feel like there's three, but maybe it's two. And I got my little pins. I remember the skunk pin I had. And so, yeah, my, my grandma loved all that. So there's all kinds of stuff going on here, y'all. And I just have to be focused and think, okay, I'm going to make a general list, like suggestions. And, um, and we want to go through these three drawers to drive me nuts. So I don't want anyone else to be driven nuts. So we're going to go through and like, I know right now I have four or five different uncomplete sets of Cups for measuring, two would be the most, y'all. And um, get rid of all the plastic. And it is nice sometimes to have two sets when you're cooking, uh, but I just wanna be able to get in these drawers. And um, yeah, so be realistic about that. And Peter Walsh, he's a great, you should read his books. He's really about the psychology of decluttering and, and things and all that. And he was, Oprah found him. So, uh, he talks about, if you're not sure, put everything in a box. If you don't use it within, let's say, six months, let it go. Don't even look at the box. But also, you know, there are some stuff that is generally used at Christmas or for particular things. So I was thinking, okay, maybe those could go in a box. And then I, I have some um, <clears throat> baking stuff downstairs in my studio. And then at Christmas, let's see if I use it or not. Y'all, I lost one of my earrings already. This is why I buy $10 earrings. I have to look at my videos and see when it went missing. But I have one from the other set I lost. But this is why I, um, I wanted to get a really nice pair of garnet earrings. But I don't know why. I guess it's just it's probably my bed. And I know right now I'm not too lazy. I would not be taking them out at night. That's another story. So yesterday, I think I told you guys... I'm always looking for signs and I need to lean into the fact that I have, I've had signs y'all see this. And then when I just, I turn it off and don't know, but I'm checking these days, but you know, this flew out of nowhere, right? My mom's pen and yesterday at work, um, you know, I've been talking in my head to Angela and Angela was just like a security system for me. And, um, you know, I, I helped take care of her, you know, it was just such a great relationship. And I just miss her and um, I miss like thinking about her and 
you know, um, just try to anticipate or trying to find fun things she wanted to do and all that. So now, you know, but I was at work and, you know, I've been talking to her. I'm like, are you here? Are you here? You know, and um, somebody went in somebody else's line and then that person had a phone call. So I'm like, hey, come over here. Let me help you. And it was a woman and a baby and her little, her little toddler. And she needed a new library card. She just moved into the area from Texas. I always love to know where people came from. So, but her husband's from around here. But, um, so I get her driver's license and she lived right near Angela. This cannot, cannot be a coincidence. And she knew, I said, well, do you know, she lived on the other side. Do you know this? That, you know, cause I know all the neighbors. Cause, um, you know, you just do with Angela. And I was there house sitting a lot and, um, you know, it's just there as a presence. So, it's not a pretty strong sign, I think. Yeah. So, pretty amazing. I'm grateful. Y'all, have we done gratitude lately? I don't think we have. What are we grateful for, y'all? What are you, think of three, what are you grateful for? So, let's start with, um, let me try something I haven't had in a while right? Let's just try something like really doesn't have to be deep. It doesn't have to be profound. Um, it can be simple, right? I am grateful for Roku so I could get rid of paying all this cable business, right? It is really, wish I'd done it earlier, but what I try to do with that instead of making myself feel bad, like you should have done this three years ago, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm like, you know what? I'm grateful now. And what in my life right now is happening that I can take care of that I will be grateful for in a year, but I can do it now. Well, one of the things with my cable bill and the whole cable thing is the messed up. And my, I have two motion sensors that I can't get working. I want to add a camera to the back door. So I'm going to call them and I'm going to arrange that. And then you used to be able to do your, um, set your alarm and unset your alarm with your phone. And um, I can't, so I need to get that straightened out and find out what that's about. Also, I can't get in my email. It's the craziest thing. They had this like apps and then they took them away and now it's been chaos. And you know, I've gradually put things over to, I have two other emails, but eventually I just wanna have one for bills, important things like that. And then one for signing up for, you know, that things I'm gonna have my YouTube one, but um, but I, and I'm gonna have gazillions of them. So, but I do want to deal with all that. I don't like it just out there. So, um, what I need to do, my first step is to print out my last five cable bills or before I even got it. Because when I talked to this girl last time, which truly was not helpful, um, I was being charged for something I didn't have, that kind of thing. So I got to get all this printed out. You know, I'm gonna write this down. I'm thinking of it, y'all. It's so funny, I do not. Okay, um, so that will be step one. When I break things down in steps, the big pen, um, so let me just write cable, print bills, right? So I can put these in. I'm gonna get out my planner too, print bills, okay. So I am grateful for Raku, I really, I really truly am. And then, um, you know, I got to hook up my DVD player and make sure it works. So I have a couple art DVDs and somebody would like me to watch A Place Called Home. Somebody I really love. So I'm going to try that for her. I don't know if I can find it in my Raku, but Roku. But I'm grateful for, um, I have like a mini book club. I share with information all day. And the thing is, I just I haven't been able to read, right? I haven't. But as a reader's advisor, you can't just recommend books you read. That's impossible. I've got, you know, women reading five, six books a week. So, um, so I read about reviews. I look at what's coming out. You know, I have all the publishing houses send me their, um, I get their newsletters and they have, um, you can click online for a Zoom meeting where they talk about new stuff or interview authors. There's novelists, there's 
book riot there's uh there's a famous one i can't think of it but there's all kinds of good stuff out there so that's what i kind of do and of course for me i love it it's like heaven to do all this so but i am thankful and i ask people did you love that what book have you read you love what, what would you recommend to everyone because you know i've got people all day long asking me and one of my um somebody who's been around a long time i really she's something else and so for her book club and she always she's a good reader and she's always looking for things and um I meant to tell Claire this. It's the um, it's a weird title. I believe it's called The Collected Regrets of Clover. And I have gotten everybody to read this book. I haven't read it yet. People love it. And at first they're like, it was like, eh. And then they, it's just amazing, right? So, and there's also, I think it's called The Amazing Grace Adams. And again, um, the writing apparently is beautiful. And my friend Beverly is reading Tara French. And this, you might like this, Clara, is called The Hunter or The Huntress. It's The Hunter, I think, or The Huntress. It's new, so it might be easy to get. But she said her right, because Beverly's album is like a speed reader. You kind of, as a librarian kind of person, you learn to do that. And um, so she just said she's savoring it because she loves the characters and they're repeating characters and that... Um, her writing is so spectacular and her descriptions. And so, you know, I am grateful that I have that, that I talk books all day, you know, that's so much fun. And I have so many books I want to read and it's like, I'm trying to limit them down. Like there's a new one that my friend Judy told me about. Um, and Judy and uh, Beverly and I sort of spend holidays together Judy and her husband have been like just great customers that I've known and you get to know people. It's so funny how like some people, you, it's fun to see and some people you spark a little bit and it moves on. And then her husband got sick and died. And it was a lot of mess. And then she was helping me when my mom got sick. But then when her husband died, my mom was like, invite everyone you want. But, yeah, she's one of those people. So, Judy, you want to come spend Thanksgiving with us? Because sometimes you just want something totally different. So she did. And then my mom always did Christmas Eve. So, and then, um, after my mom died, I tried for a year and then Beverly took over because I work and it, you know, and she had time and she loves to like do the tablescape. I do too, but I don't have time when I'm rushed. Long story short. So anyway, Judy's part of that. And it would be Angela, me and Judy. And then one day it's just going to be me. And I'm not thinking about that, but, um, <clears throat> anyway, now I lost train of thought. It's okay. Judy. Anyway, what the hell was I just saying? Okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, so books and, you know, Judy always has, Judy's a great reader and she always has ideas and, she, you know, so that helps. I get, you know, information from everyone, but Edie wants, you know, a list of books. And it's so funny because my supervisor, who's a reader, you know, been long, long, so she, what she came up with, I would never read or even think of suggesting to people. So that's what's so good. You get different opinions and Edie's like that. She'll look around and there's a service where you can ask, um, I can't remember what it's called, but at, like, you know, a librarian will answer your email if you say, Hey, I would like some books. And so she did it, but she said they were all very weird. <laughs> but sometimes when you're dealing with people who are really good readers, prolific readers, read all the time, you got to, you know, probably read everything that's the top favorite. So I always try to come up with unusual things. Oh. So Judy just told me about a book. It's like this. I didn't bring it home. I'm going to read it. It's really small. It's Japanese. It's uh, um, translated, obviously. What is it called? It's called um, something to food detectives. But she said it's really unusual. And it's like you can request to have like a, a favorite dinner back in the past. And I don't know. It just sounds really interesting. So and it's tiny. So I'll talk about that when I, I'm going to read it. And um, I'll talk about that. But yeah, so just like with art supplies or anything or having what do I need out when I create, I'm really going to work on trying to get the habit of pulling out some stuff and working with that. Because let's say I'm doing something I want to burn. I think, yeah, I pulled a couple pictures of birds. It would be perfect. No way in heaven. Now, I will say in the past when I have time, I do have a collection of bird stuff. But I can't do that right now. That's something that, you know, I can maybe do in the future. But maybe I'm not going to be that person. Maybe I'm just going to look and do what I have. Now, I did an A to Z bird book. 
And so then you really do want all your birds. And then I could sit down and say, hey, I got two hours. I'm going to go through everything and pull out birds, right? Or the sky or stuff like that. And I do want to do an A to Z Christmas book, a Halloween book. And there was something else I thought would be cool. A erotic book. But that would be personal. But yeah, so, um, so I'm grateful for all the, the talks of books and being around books all day. And... Um, you know, I'm grateful my laundry's almost done. <laughs> There's a book. Where did I put it? Here it is. It's called Dirty Laundry. Um, it says, from social media sensation, Lord Almighty, at ADHD underscore love. Um, why adults with ADHD are so ashamed and what we can do to help. Richard Pink and Roxanne are, is that hysterical, you guys? Come on. It's not just me, but there is a feeling like if you're going to have people come over, oh, this is super easy to read. It's like Instagram post reading, but I'll let you know about that. But there is a thing with that, but I'm grateful my laundry's on this stuff for many reasons. So anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. going to start my day and, um... Yeah, I'm grateful for y'all as always. But think of three things you were saying out loud. Write them down. The one thing I wanted to share, but it's probably the person that's not watching this far. Um, let me take the back of this. So if you want to do morning pages, and I still am fighting to get that kind of going, but I'm not giving up. Every time I watch someone who's healing, they always are talking about their writing, right? <clears throat> So, and some people don't have privacy, right? And so what I would say now, there's people like Oprah who write diaries, right? Record their, what's going on, their feelings and all that. So then if that's what you want to do and you're going to go back and read it and um, then you, you should get a lock, right? But for those of when you want to do what we call like morning pages or like a purge, so let me do this real quick. Um, and you're just writing for like, you could do the three pages, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Um, no thinking, no, no, no commas, no dotting I's, crossing T's, right? So what I do is because we're gonna do um, three pages, what I do is all on one page. So, what you're doing is, so is one, whether it's privacy or not, you're dumping stuff out of your brain. You're getting it out. And it's so important and it's so powerful. And why am I not doing it? But I'm going to start doing it. And in the book, The Artist's Way, and you don't have to be an artist to read this book. You have to be human, right? And one of the things is morning pages. And she said, the first thing you do, you get up. If you can do it before you go to the bathroom, depends on, do this. It's not about being in your clear mind. And, you know, you're kind of in that alpha stage when you wake up. So, or just like automatic writing. So, you, people are going to be able to read that, right? I can't read it. And that's the point. The point is I'm not going to revisit this. It's it's like, um, it's like, why would you save cantaloupe rinds, right? I mean, I'm not going back, right? And I can even, sometimes I symbolically take pages and either burn them or rip them or um, sometimes I painted them with black, that kind of thing. So no one's going to see that, you guys. No one's going to see that. And so you don't have to worry about privacy, right? No one's going to be able to figure that out. So, I mean, those are two different things. I really want to start to um, a journal, you know, an art sketchbook. There's so many amazing things on Instagram and sayings and stuff. And so one of the things I want to do too is I want to do really just abstract stuff, like truly play. Maybe not even look and think, oh, I should have black or none of that. And then write, do some of the quotes on there, right? Think about these quotes. And um, but look at this. I'm so inspired by her. Her name's um, Lorna Simpson, and she's a collage artist. So one of in one of her series she took she cut out pictures from like jet and ebony 
back in the day in the 70s 80s and then she did this kind of thing but i love this idea and um i took this to remind me that it's gonna go in my inspiration box but yeah so that's it y'all i um yeah morning pages you know i had the thought i'm supposed to let you go because this is long but is it do you for me, not everyone's the same. Do I get to a point where I feel good and I feel like my light starting to shine and I want to dim it because I'm afraid of what that might mean or bring or who are you to feel that? I don't know. There's something there. Like even when I exercise a lot, you feel so, I mean, not even a lot, but I mean just every day, right? You bring it. I think there's an energy to that and maybe, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but I just think... At this point, I just need to get over all this. <laughs> Flat out, do it. So I did walk a few times this week. Nothing major, but I'm warming up. So for, you know, got my medicine, but I also hydrate, eating better food, doing my morning pages, walking, being more social. So these are all things I'm working on. But yeah, so, and you know what? You do not have to go even buy a cheap notebook from the Dollar Tree save all i swear we get so much junk mail now i get all kinds of things like i can clean your house do this do that and sometimes the paper is excellent too but um i'm not allowed to save any of that right now i don't need to but right on that right on top of that right on the back if it's too distracting right there's but y'all i'm grateful for big pens i love these pens so much ever since a kid so handy to have. You can highlight, you can circle. So, all right, guys. You take care. I'll be popping in. Um, and of course, we're going to have taste tests and decluttering. I need some, some support with that and some art and all kinds of awesome things. So, I'm going to be 9 to 10, 10, 11, 12, 12. Okay, I got to get going. I got to get my kitchen cleared so I can have it. All right, guys, you take care and I will talk to you soon.